Hello friends, let me tell you a small story. A trader was walking along a road selling eggs. A person who had nothing to do called the trader. Instead of buying eggs, he started irritating him. He was just wasting trader's time. Soon it led to a fight. The wicked person pushed the trader and the trace of eggs fell. Many eggs broke. The trader dragged him to the king's court and demanded compensation from the wicked man. The king understood his appeal and asked how many eggs were broke. The trader loved math. He replied, if counted in pairs, one egg will remain. If counted in threes, two eggs will remain. If counted in fours, three eggs will remain. If counted in fives, four will remain. If counted in sixes, five will remain. And if counted in seven, nothing will remain. And my trace can accommodate maximum up to 150x. So let us understand what the trader said. Say the number of x that were broken is equal to a. So a is equal to 7m plus 0 where m is the quotient if we divide a by 7 and the remainder is 0. Because he said if counted in 7s nothing will remain. So remainder is 0 and you are counting in 7. So a divided by 7 you will get some number m. We don't know that. a is equal to 6n plus 5 where n is the quotient if we divide a by 6 and the remainder is 5 because he said if counted in 6s 5 will remain so a is equal to 6n plus 5 5 is the remainder same way a is equal to 5p plus 4 p is the quotient if we divide a by 5 and the remainder is 4 and so on so we represented what the trader said in simple equation. The correct answer was 119x were broken. And yes, the trader was compensated for 119x. So A is equal to 119. Look how 119 fits into the puzzle in each of the equation. 119 equal to 7 into 17 plus 0. That is 119 divided by 7, we get 17 as quotient and remainder as 0. Do it in your copy, you will find out. 119 equal to 6 into 19 plus 5. That is 119 divided by 6. 19 is the quotient and remainder is 5. 119 is equal to 5 into 23 plus 4. Means 119 when divided by 5. 23 is the quotient and remainder is 4. So 119 on the left side fits into every statement, he said. But look, as the divisor changes from 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, the quotient and remainder also changes. And the quotient and remainder pair remains unique every time. So if we denote the dividend by A, that is total number of x, divisor by B, Quotient by Q and remainder as R, what we get? We get A equal to BQ plus R, where the remainder R is greater than or equal to 0 and less than divisor B. For a particular value of A and B, Q and R is fixed, isn't it? No matter how many times you divide 119 by 6, you will always get quotient as 19 and remainder as 5. That is same Q and R for the same value of A and B. This seems like an obvious fact now, but it was first documented by Euclid in his book Euclid's Element. Euclid said, given positive integers A and B, there exist unique integers Q and R satisfying 
a is equal to bq plus r where r is greater than equal to 0 less than b it is called euclid's division lemma a lemma is a proven statement used for proving another statements so based on this lemma or the proven statement euclid developed an easy step by step method or algorithm to find highest common factor of two numbers which we will learn in the next video till then bye bye